Hey guys, um, welcome to Mr. Smith's Kitchen. I'm Brian, host of the show. <laughs> well, at least it's my YouTube channel. I'm not always a host, but uh, so normally I'd say, hey, today it's Wednesday, let's cook some supper. And that didn't happen. Instead, it's Thursday. And as you saw the uh, cookies I made earlier, the chocolatey nutty cowboy cookies, uh, which I hope you're gonna try or have tried. And if you did, leave a comment. But tonight we're gonna cook dinner. Um, I actually originally shot this Tuesday but realized I only shot half the video. Didn't do any good to show you the first half if I couldn't do the second half. So, that being said, we're gonna do it tonight. Why not? So tonight we're gonna make a uh, Cajun chicken pasta. Now, I, I am going to double this recipe. Uh, this this recipe here I got uh, would be good for like two people. Um, but with us being three to four, depending on Abby's mood, uh, we're going to uh, double the recipe. So, let's go through the list of uh, ingredients. Oh, before I forget, um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the uh, notification bell if you want. Like it, don't like, dislike it, whichever, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, it doesn't make a difference to me, really. Um, like I said, at the moment, I'm not here to monetize. I, I'm just here to document me um, and show you a few new things and stuff like that. I've got a video about a year ago that explains what my channel is about. So I won't even bother you with all that nonsense. But either way it goes, subscribe, join our join our group. You know, it's fun. So the first thing you're gonna need is uh, one box of ling uh, linguine pasta. Tonight I'm gonna use fettuccine. Um, the original recipe calls for four ounces, which is a quarter of a box, a one pound box. So that being said, I'm using an entire box of double in the recipe plus. When we made it the other night, we found that it really did need more noodles. So I would recommend, uh, if you're just going with the standard recipe, at least a half a box, eight ounces of uh, linguine noodles. The second thing you're going to need is two boneless chicken breasts, which I have, well, I have four right there. Um, and you're going to want to chop them up, okay? Next thing you're going to need after you get your chicken breasts chopped up is two tablespoons of uh, Cajun seasoning. Okay, now um, while you're getting your ingredients together and chopping your chicken, start your uh, your linguine. Okay, now if you don't have linguine, you can use fettuccine noodles. Uh, they're a little more common in the grocery store at the moment. That's actually what we're using tonight. Uh, next thing you'll need is two tablespoons of butter. Butter. Like I said, I've doubled these, so I've got four tablespoons in there. Um, you will need one red bell pepper sliced. Uh, I'm trying it tonight sliced. When I did it last week, I diced them up, but we're gonna go sliced. So there's our red pepper sliced. The next thing you're gonna need is four fresh mushrooms. Now it doesn't say what mushrooms. So we went with a portobello mushroom, which is the same mushroom I used uh, the other night. And it worked very well for this. And I just sliced it up and then sliced them in half because these were the big full size, not the babies. Uh, if you get the baby portobello mushrooms, uh, just slice them and you'll be fine. You don't have to, I mean, you can do whatever you like. It's it's your dish, but you know, that's my recommendation. And then it calls for one green onion chopped. That's green onion right there. Now you'll use the entire onion, you know, uh, to do it. I actually have three in here and I would recommend if they're small green onions, go ahead and, uh, oh, while you're out there, can you check yep. the noodles? Um, while you're out there, or while you're out there, <laughs> But if they're small green onions, use two or three um, to your liking. All right, so the next thing we're gonna need is one cup of heavy cream, which I haven't gotten out yet. Um, and you're gonna need a, a list of uh, spices. So let me bring you down here so I can show you the spice plate versus trying to uh, uh, jumble it all up. Or hold it up there, because I've got it's got a few spices on it on the spice plate. So we have as follows. Let me get the handy dandy notebook. Uh, we've got a uh, half a teaspoon of dried basil. Okay. We've got a quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper, uh, which you can buy in the grocery store. McCormick makes it. I'm not sure there's a lot of people who make it, but that's McCormick's. Um, one teaspoon of salt or a quarter teaspoon of salt, which you can't really, I guess, see on the light plate, but it's there. Uh, you are going to need a eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Those will be the spices that we need to put in this dish. 
Um, the very last thing we, you will need is just going to be a quarter cup of Parmesan, uh, shredded fresh Parmesan, uh, not the stuff in a container um, that you would dump on your spaghetti normally. Uh, at least in my house growing up, that's the way it was. And this is for nothing more than to garnish. All right. Well, let me get straightened up. Let me get straightened up and a little organized here. And when I come back, uh, we'll start cooking. How's that sound? All right, I'll see you here in just one millisecond. All right, guys, so we're back. Got the camera set up. Let me uh, turn the news down a little bit there. Until we hear it. All right, I've got my cast iron going. It's heating up. First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw some butter in there. All right, we're going to let that butter melt. While that butter's melting, I'm going to take my bowl. Now, if you don't have a bowl to do this in, get you a big freezer baggie. If you don't have a big freezer baggie, grab your bowl. We're going to take our two tablespoons of cayenne. Our Cajun seasoning, we're going to put it in there. Make sure it's Cajun seasoning, that's important. I don't know what they put in it, but it's more than just cayenne pepper. So what we're doing is, we're just mixing that up, okay? You want to get it good and good and coated. Hey, can you pour me out two cups of cream? Oh, we need yeah. a second. Got my handy dandy assistant, Chris, here, who is uh, currently also uh, finishing up some pickles. We are, uh, we've made a few different kinds of pickles this year. Uh, we did uh, two different types of dill pickle. And along with that, we did a uh, bread and butter pickle. And now we're doing what's called an aristocrat pickle. And this is kind of an intense pickle. We've never actually tried it before, but we, uh, hey, it smells very good. It's like a sweet and savory pickle. And it, uh, you have to let it soak and brine for eight days, which is just, amazingly crazy all right so we got our butter melted our uh, cajun seasoning is evenly coated on our chicken so we're just going to drop that down in the pan like such we'll uh, set that aside i'm going to rinse my hands off real quick because that's kind of gross there is that Towel. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook, chicken cook for about five minutes. Okay, we want to get it uh, tender. You know, not, you know, I don't know if it has to necessarily be cooked completely through, but close. Um, but you're looking to get it tender, cook it about five or seven minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. And then uh, when we come back, we'll uh, move on to the next step. How's that sound? All right, I'll see you here in one momento. All right, so it's been about five minutes. We let our chicken cook, and it's not cooked completely because we're not done cooking yet. You're still going to see more than likely a little bit of pink in there, you know, and that's okay. There's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because here's what we're going to do next. We're going to take our red peppers that we cut up. Remember, it's one large red pepper, sliced or diced, however you like to do it. Remember, you make it... You make it for what you and your family like, you know. Uh, all I'm doing is giving you a base for what you what you might want in your dish. You can add and take away, substitute, whatever you like. Then we're gonna put our, our uh, green onion in there, just like such. Then we're gonna take our mushrooms and we're gonna put our mushrooms in there. Now, the, in, the instructions say to saute these. Um, you're not really, it's not a true saute, um, only because the chicken's sitting in there. Now, you could remove the chicken, although it didn't tell you to, and saute it in what's left of the butter and stuff, but the idea is to get them softened. So, I got those in there now, and we'll give it a good stir around there. Now, to help soften these, just like to help cook the chicken a little more even, um, I put a lid on it. That way we've got, you know, everything going on. And you'll know when it's, it's good. This is going to take about two to three, possibly even four minutes. It'll depend on the amount of vegetables, the size of the vegetables you put in. Remember, the smaller the vegetables, the quicker they soften, the, you know, or saute. And you should be good. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get, a, get the lid back on this, and I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes. Now, you wanna stir occasionally. So, I will get back with you here in about four minutes for me, a half a millisecond for you, all right?
Okay, guys. So here we are. We got uh, we got everything cooked down a little bit. Now you see there's a little moisture on there. And part of that's where I had the pan on there, but it will it'll cook off in the next step. So what we're going to do now is we're pretty much going to add everything else with the Parmesan. You're going to put your cup of heavy whipping cream in there, your heavy cream in there, which in this case I'm using two cups because I'm doubling the recipe, um, which is what we did last time. And then all those spices, the salt, the basil, the lemon pepper, the garlic, uh, and the pepper, we're just going to pour those on in there, okay? Just like such. And then all we're going to do is whoops, try not to hurt ourselves, but we're going to uh, let this cook down a little. So we're going to let it thicken back up, only because I had that extra moisture in there. Chicken, unfortunately, unless you buy it from the butcher, and I didn't realize till today I was out of chicken, and the butcher shop wasn't available to me today. Well, the chicken wasn't available to me today. They had to, uh, I had to wait till tomorrow. They were out. Uh, which is okay. So I had to go buy a couple breasts from the grocery store. It happens. Um, and but the chicken you buy from the grocery store is either filled is either injected with one or two things, water or chicken broth. So when you fry up your chicken, you get extra moisture, you know, water or broth in there. So remember, when you don't buy from a butcher and you buy from the grocery store, when it comes to chicken. You're not only paying for the chicken, but you're paying for water or a little bit of chicken broth, mostly water. Um, so something to keep in mind. All right, well, let me thicken this up. And when I come back, we will move on to the next step. All right, I'll see you here in one second. Okay, so we're back. And because I made a double batch, I can't put the, uh, what would be linguine noodles. In this case, it's uh, fettuccine noodles in the uh, pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sauce in with the uh, noodles because they're in a much bigger, they're in a pot, in a stock pot. So let's go ahead and get this. I'll pour this in and my lovely assistant Sarah is going to uh, scrape the pan for me as soon as I find something to grab a hold of this with. All right, so you want to know what we look like prior to? There is our Cajun chicken sauce. Now I suppose if I wanted to be sloppy, I could have just dumped this in, but like a gut purpose, girl. Oh, All right, so we got that taken care of. Let me set that incredibly hot pan down, get this out of the way. Boom. All right, so we got that in there, and then all we got to do is take our uh, handy dandy tongs and mix this up. I mean, this really is like the easiest dish in the world to make. Um, all right, we got it there. Now, I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes with the lid on it. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow that, that uh, creamy sauce that we made to marinate in with the noodles and kind of let them all become friends. So when I come back, we will uh, get a taste of it and see how we, uh, if we accomplish the same thing twice, so to speak. All right, lid on it. We're going to let it sit for a minute and I'll see you here in a second. Okay, so here we go. Let it sit for a few minutes, let all those flavors blend together, because that's what we like to do. You know, never hurts to let it sit. Give it a good stir up with the pot here. Fine china, of course. Throw some noodles on there. Make sure we get a nice chunk of chicken, some of that mushroom. Green pepper, or the red pepper. There it is that. So put it to the side, that's a little warm. Put the lid back on, it's been dry out. And here it is, Cajun chicken and noodles. I think it looks absolutely fabulous. Let's uh, give it a try and see what happens. Yeah. 
Worst case scenario is I failed miserably, but I don't think so. I think it turned out okay, myself. Yeah, so we'll see. Get us a fork. I know the mushroom's good. I wish we had smell division here because my kitchen smells amazing at the moment. Yeah. Get some of the noodles. Oh, tastes just like yesterday. Well, two days ago. I have such a wonderful blend of spices. And the peppers are cooked just right. The mushroom tastes amazing. You can taste the Cajun seasoning, but it's not, it's not horribly overbearing. This is not a spicy, a truly spicy dish. Um, it is just enough Cajun seasoning, believe it or not, even though two tablespoons sound like a lot, it's not for the amount you make. Um, plus you got the, when you put the cream in there, that helps mellow it out and allows you to be able to taste all those flavors together. It is an absolutely great dish. Um, and it's a good weeknight dish. Um, it, it literally took, uh, I'm going to say about, sorry, I was looking at the timer. Uh, it took about 35 minutes to make maybe, um, cause when you're prepping all of this, you know, you, you've, you're cooking your noodles. So once your noodles are done, you strain them. You can set them aside if you're not done prepping. Just make sure you put the lid on it. You know, because even if they start to stick together, it's okay. Um, because what happens is once you combine it with the uh, sauce and the chicken, it loosens it all back up. So have no fear with that. Um, but you can, you can even cook your noodles before you even start when you're just getting all your ingredients together. Uh, for that matter. And then you, you, your total cook time and prep, you're only, the only prep you really have is cutting your chicken up and coating it with the Cajun seasoning. So after that, it's just pretty much pour in a pan and go. Um, so yeah, great weeknight meal. As long as you got thawed chicken and some fettuccine noodles, you are in like Flint. And like I said, you don't necessarily have to use these spices. Um, you can use any spice you want before I forget the Parmesan. You want to make sure you top it with some Parmesan. Um, if you are serving this like in a serving bowl, like I, I was just going to take this pot out and let everybody serve themselves, I would just put this Parmesan right on the top. Um, or if there's people in your house that don't like Parmesan, they can uh, leave it on, leave it to the side and let whoever does like the Parmesan put it on themselves. So, that being said, I really hope you try this dish. Um, I thought it was absolutely amazing. I hope that you... Uh, Get to watch the video from this morning about making the cookies and get to try those cookies those cookies are amazing um, absolutely amazing like i said earlier in the last video they're they're award-winning but i think this cajun chicken new uh, pasta is award-winning also and i think you should try it let me know if you do uh throw me a comment down below or just comment anyhow and uh let me know what you think all right uh if you like it Tell me you like it. If you don't like it and you think it sucks, let me know. Say, Brian, this thing sucks. Why did you even make this? Um, I, I value your opinion either way. You know. So, that being said, I'm going to go eat dinner with the family. Oh, and before I forget, right back here, Chris has managed to finish up the pickles just while we were cooking this. Uh, like I said, aristocrat pickles. I'll let you know how those are next week. Uh, next week, don't know what we're going to talk about on Tuesday yet. Uh, still got a few days left before that happens. A lot can happen in a few days in our world. Wednesday, I uh, haven't decided yet which one of the three uh, recipes I got that we're going to do for dinner. But it's going to be one of three. It might be a, a dish I found called Shipwreck, which is really good. And it's another really quick weeknight meal. Um, and then next Thursday for uh, uh, dessert, we're going to make cake. We're going to make cheesecake, like I said earlier. So... It'll be a fun week next week, and until then, I love you. I love you very much. Tell somebody else you love them and love them very much. It's going to make their day a whole lot better, especially the way life is going at the moment. You know, the world's a crazy place. Don't forget to get vaccinated and stay safe. All right? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.